Guys, it's been an insane week for me, for the community, for the world. I'm personally hoping to get back to normal on Twitch and here for you guys next week with a little surprise giveaway that you're not going to want to miss out on. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out more details on that. And make sure to keep an eye on all of my platforms as I'm releasing some other useful resources and Star Citizen guides under the Space Tomato brand for you as well. And in the meantime, you can enjoy this weekly update on Star Citizen's top show. Thanks for coming to My Tomato Talk. And thanks to my newest YouTube channel members, Citizen64 and Roskin Roscoe. This week's episode opened up with a topic we sort of touched on before last summer when we discussed branding and how it develops the atmosphere and experience of the game. We got the chance at the time to look at logo development too, so this time it feels a bit unnecessary. But we do get a little more insight into the design process on their end, and get a reminder of the attention to detail this game possesses in some areas despite its size. I can't help but admire the detail that goes into every brand in this game to make it look like it's a real company, and to connect it to things that we wear, eat, shoot, and fly throughout the game. After logos though, we jumped into a sprint report. We started off with a look at the ship to station docking. Right now large ships cannot land at space stations. This will be important in making that a possibility which is 100% necessary for us to progress to a more high capacity and robust cargo system. Now we only get environment updates this week and a chance to see how the lighting and environment are improving the feel you will get when traversing the area. If you're interested in seeing more of the action of these docks in motion, you can check out my review of the feature from September in the video description below. And then we got whales. No, 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 not, not Star Citizen backers, you guys have always been around. No, I'm talking about space whales. And while what we are seeing here is a statue in the making to honor the local fauna of Crusader, we will be seeing space whales flying in and out of the clouds of Crusader and probably in other places in the verse at some point as well. The feature actually takes a lot of work too, and has been in the talks since all the way back in 2017, where they discussed the hypothetical man hours it would take to make the feature. Spoiler alert, space whales take a lot of manpower. And honestly, before people say it's a waste and there are more important things to work on, I gotta say, these types of things are very exciting to me and to a lot of the type of people who are interested in a game like this. Because we aren't here just to fly from point A to point B, but rather to sink into that heavy sci-fi experience. Also, I wanna see Andy Serkis PCAP a space whale. After that, we talked about respawning. Not something you would really think about in an MMO, but an interesting feature nonetheless, and one that's necessary for the alpha, in which, let's be honest, you respond quite a bit. However, later on when we get closer to the plans for Final Death and Death of a Spaceman and Nine Lives, you'll most likely be much more careful and less dead. That being said, this will be great for times in which you log on. It serves as an opportunity to reorient yourself with what was going on when you logged off. And if this is a live preview, it can tell us what's going on in our immediate area as well. Also, if we're lucky, and this is a live view, this also could help to load in assets before the player character, if the interior isn't cold, leading to the possibility of less glitches during respawns. After that morbid topic, we floated on over to the hangar bay for some looks at ongoing shipwork for the Crusader Hercules, Aegis Redeemer, and Tumbral Nova. How the heck are we already getting this tank? And why does it have more interior space than my local corner market? There's no doubt, this is a huge tank, and it's got anti-air capabilities. It'll most likely play a key part in the single player Squadron 42 campaign. Though I'm skeptical as to how this will fit into the current set of Star Citizen gameplay options. 
but it's here, so we'll find a way. As for the Starlifter, the thing is looking great. Here you can see some comparison shots from our other updates we've received over the last year. We've been following this ship in production since about May of last year just to give you an idea of how long a large 94 meter ship might take to create from start to finish. There will be three variants releasing all this year with two coming in the next patch. With the later model, we'll also be getting the ability to drop bombs on other people. Not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll look more into it in the coming months right here on the channel. And boy, if I had known the Redeemer was so big. It looks here to be bigger than a Valkyrie. Expect to see it in game no earlier than October of this year. Finally, Colonialism, one of the seven archetypes of building construction in Star Citizen, which also includes the utilitarianism of R-Corp and Hurston and high tech style of Microtech. Colonialism developed in the 2400s and is the primary style of small towns and villages without much infrastructure or resources to build with. These homesteads will serve as the old western style towns where you may be able to pick up a mission or two, take some off the beaten path deliverable contracts, and disappear for a while when your crime stat gets a bit hot. And while these are new designs that we've only started seeing in the last year, this idea of villages and small outposts has been on our minds and in the works for some time. And when we out, uh, so for us, um, from a design standpoint, you know, this allows us to build these in a modular way so that we can have different entrances, different exits, different room layouts, different mission content associated with it. Uh, from there, you know, then we start looking towards towns and villages. And then obviously we have our, our main cities. The components that are being shown for these locations look incredibly detailed and high quality. And hopefully by the time they're added to the game, which is no sooner than October, they'll have a feature or two to match. And if that doesn't work, well, maybe we could just use all these models and the Quantum Engine to make a Star Citizen 4X game. But maybe let's finish this one first. Logos may not have been the most interesting topic, but boy oh boy. Do I like a good sprint report? Was there anything this week that you particularly loved? Let me know in the comments, and subscribe to this channel if you want more content for Star Citizen. Now, giveaways. Yes, I'm always giving away ships every month in the video description, just like my Anvil Arrow in January. And I'm also always giving away ships on Twitch, like the Nomad and Prospect are currently up for grabs. But I have something special for you now. I recently purchased a Toby Eye Tracker 5 and I really enjoy it. I reached out to Toby to see if they'd like to partner up and get one of these out and into the hands of one of our amazing community members, and they were more than happy. Over the next seven days, you'll have the opportunity to enter a giveaway for the Toby Eye Tracker 5, direct from Toby themselves. A device that can track your eyes and head movements to enhance your gaming experience in a multitude of titles. Two days after the giveaway ends, I'll be releasing my review of the product and announcing a winner. Check out the community tab on this channel, the video description, my Discord server, or my Twitter account for more info. And come watch me test the device out on Twitch. And thank you all again for watching this video. I appreciate you all. And I hope to see you next time. Shout out to my top supporters, TK the Alpaca, The Huntress, Ben and Dasek, Holston Coop, and Guilty Conscience.